Hey, so Tivi, I was putting together your little care box for you, and some of the stuff that I got just came in today, and I was ultimately disappointed in this book, because I was pretty sure that this was the person you talked about before that would kill people and bathe in their blood, and if not, I thought, well, she could put this on Swap Tree, but it's not worth anything on Swap Tree, because I looked around, and now I know why. I was flipping through it, and it's not any kind of historical information about her. It's a novel. And it's a crappy one. I think you'll like what else is in the box. Look what I got. Da -da -da -da. Anya's back to his old self. So for the past few days I was thinking about getting my hair cut <clears throat> for this summer. And I mean it's pretty long now, I guess. Ish. It could it's been longer. But my hair's been long, like my whole life, and I love it when it's long, but it's freaking pain to take care of all the time, and it's just, like, look at it right now, it is just, well, that's a funky curl, but, like, after a while, it gets kind of ratted up, and it starts feeling like dreads, and I do not want that in my hair, and it's just freaking frizzy and ratty and it's really annoying and I know when summer rolls around I'm gonna be miserable because it's gonna be so damn hot and in order to make it look nice I'm gonna have to put product in it and that makes me all gooey and sweaty and I don't uh, I don't like it but when I was thinking of getting it cut short I was kind of thinking of it being like this short if not just a little above my shoulders so I can do cute stuff with it you know and for once, I'm really positive I want to do this with my hair. Not like the other times when I wanted to dye it red, or I want to do whatever. Because I'm always like second guessing myself, but this time I'm actually really sure I want to do it. And I'm not, I'm going to get it done professionally. I'm not going to do it myself this time. So trust me, it's not going to look like the Jane Austen hairdo I had last time. I'm never going there again. And I'm sorry if you guys won't like it, but I, I really want to do this. And... It'll grow back. I want to get a lot of the color chopped out of it. Because if I keep looking at this, and if the sun hits it right, and I'll say, Oh my god, that's such a pretty red. I want to dye my hair red again. I think I'm going to shoot my brains out. As much as I want that beautiful, glorious auburn to sprout from my head, it cannot be so. So I'm just going to let the sun hit it and take its effect and let it be blondie. God, I was just thinking right now, I'm like, oh man, if we go to the beach, I really want to go out dancing. And then I was like, oh wait, not like on the pier during sunset dancing with the live swing band, but because now all they have are dark, sticky, smelly clubs with girls in cages. Which I don't have anything against, I just don't think that scene's right for me. Oh man, I just realized. Do you realize in like... The next few years, everybody from the World War II era will be dead and gone. Can you believe that? That's insane. It's like it's going to be buried in the dust. I'm going to keep it alive. I'm really sorry this vlog had no significant meaning. I'm just kind of pissed because I had to work Saturday and Sunday. Two of the most beautiful days I have ever seen all year so far. And today I don't work, and it's freaking raining. And it's cold. I hate work. So now I'm done with uh, doing laundry and the dishes and cleaning the cat box and tidying up my room, which didn't go very far. But now I'm going to tweeze my eyebrows because they are going crazy. And doing some crafts. And out of a little Betty Crocker mini cake bowl, I made a hat. You know, I was surprised this movie is actually very good. Do you know the girl who played Lolita, Sue Lyons, or Leons, or whatever, wasn't allowed in to see the movie because it was too inappropriate for her age, even though she acted in it. Isn't that queer?